Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about how we handle um, API requests to the Remix app. Why do you need this? A lot of places. Like, if you already don't have the idea for your app, let me show you an example. A lot of the apps that we create will have, will interact with the team. Okay, from the team storefront, let's say this is the storefront, and you want to have a button in here, which is like a heart button, and someone click on it, and it should add that product to the wish list. That is a public API that your app should handle okay someone request someone send a request with the customer id with the product id or variant id and then you have to store that in the database that will be an ajax request how do you do that this is completely outside of your app okay you have to um, create a public api for that let's see how we can handle that in remix it is very really easy if you are all following uh, from the previous video it should be easy for you to um, understand um, how we do this let's commit this for now um, just this one it was from previous video for handling example and I'm not going to do anything so cool if you open this uh, Shopify app um, the Tamil file uh, you should click on this one to open it is going to give you your app URL you can open this in any browser so let's go back to our browser and let's open this i will come to this one shortly where do you find this but you probably know where this is right now in your app right you can this is the the place that where people add their domain and install your app you don't have to design this but it is good if you do someone might access this a URL but you normally don't do because if you uh, if your app is public a lot of people don't don't see this so cool now what I want to do is I want to do this if someone go to the API slash wishlist it should return all all their wishlists an Ajax request we send an Ajax because this is an API we will do that for now it is going to be a 404 let's go back to our code let's create that endpoint right Okay, how easy is that to do that? Inside your app, inside the routes, you can create a file. Similar to app.indexapp.pricing, app.setting, you can have a file called api.wishlist.jsx. JSX, something like this. And this should do the trick. But if I come here and refresh it, what will happen sometimes it is very really slow so you have to re reload again it returns empty but this is not 404 cool that is good it's start right now you have to put your loader function loader will respond to the get request to that endpoint and action will respond to any post or patch or delete request we'll talk more about that but let's add our api for this now what i will do is i will just add our loader and return something this is the loader and we also have to import something um, like JSON that we imported in the setting. Okay, uh, cool, where is that? Okay. I will just copy it and above this I'll paste it. Now we are going to return some data. JSON function and this uh, Since this is wishlist, probably we are going to um, return wishlist, but this is getting those information from a long time. Let's say OK is equal to true, which is the response, and also hero from API. But normally you will read this information from database, which we do in the future with this. OK, cool. Let's come back to our app, and this is the URL. Let's refresh it. And yeah, that is the endpoint. And this is the case request. If you do uh, send an Ajax request from Postman or any other services, you will get this information. Now, how do you deal with the data where it is a post request? Let's find out. Now, let me see if I have the Postman installed in my computer. Oh, this is Postgres. I'm not going to install this, but I have to look for Postman. I think this one is Postman. It is taking a while to load, but yeah, I have multiple screens, that's why. Cool, and I'm going to create a new URL. Let me just grab it, and yeah, 
Here we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put the request URL here. This is our endpoint, and we will paste it here. For now, we are just sending a GET request to this API, and yeah, we are getting the data. How about if we put a POST request? Send this, or POST request, okay. You made a POST request, but do not provide an action. Cool, the, the, the error is so nice that you can easily understand you don't have the action, right? Now, I will add something here. Let me just copy the code that I have. A snippet a copy and let's come to the code and this is the loader and it will be at the top this is going to be our action so what we do is we add our action function then we are going to assign the meta to this request and then the, that is what we will do um, let's return something um, the post request okay I'm going to return uh, JSON with success and also the request that we have Met method is going to be equal to post or we can just pass the, the method directly so the break will not run and that is the beauty of return and let's copy this and replace it for the patch also this is going to be a patch request if you are not familiar with patch or delete these are different types of requests that you can send and do something about it okay why this is giving us this is not reachable okay cool we don't need to have this because this is the last one that will run okay cool uh, let's come back to the postman and send a post request let's send it yes we are getting a post request if we change this to a patch uh, we should get a patch request from the data that we have you can pass the arguments like data that you have um, directly from here um, but yeah you can get those information in the backend but if you send a delete which does not exist again it is not going to, it's going to return like method not allowed and it also have the header cookies okay cool yeah that is all you need to know right how you will handle the data request in real time you will have a yeah a model that you're going to return the data if it is a post request you are going to save this data to the database if someone send a post request to the wish list you grab the data customer id where an id save it in the database that is what we do in the future video but this is the basic of api one more thing i want to add is if you have a very complicated app you might find this confusing okay a lot of apis like wish list products and different types of things there is a naming convention that Remix come with the example. Authentication is an example. Auth is an API. You can go to auth slash login and you can create a folder called auth.login. And inside that you can create a route.jsx that will handle everything for you. Similar for wishlist, if you wanna do that, create a folder called api.wishlist. And inside that create a route. Put your um, loader and function inside the file inside the route file and that will do the trick it will be safe inside um, a separate uh, folder if we do that since this is just an example app and we are not dealing with a lot of data this method will work for us so now you get the idea of how you will send different types of um, ajax requests and respond to them if you have any question feel free to ask below the video thank you for watching i will see you in the next one